Hello, it's me, Charlene, with your Friday's Fabulous Tips from a PhD, professional hairdresser, that's me. So, I'm always wondering what kind of tips you might want, and I asked a few clients. So, if you have any ideas, please feel free to write them in the comment. Um, you can also find my videos on YouTube, and you can follow me if you want to. So one of my clients, her name is Sue, she's been coming to me for a very long time and she said, how about some tips on different types of brushes? So I'm going to go over a few brushes. So if you have long hair and it's very hard to comb, you would definitely want to find a wet brush. I like the paddle style, it comes in two different styles, round or paddle. The paddle is a little bit better, I feel. So you do it on wet hair and it will brush right through your hair no matter what. No matter what snarls, this is like the best find. One of my clients told me about it, and it's been a great thing. And um, when you're blow drying your hair and you want to get a straight look, but you don't want to use a flat iron, you can use a regular paddle brush, and you can just pull it through with the blow dryer, and it will smooth it out and make it look really straight and smooth. You can also use a regular paddle brush to just brush your hair. When you're doing a really big blowout and you just want a full blowout, you want a boar's bristle brush, something like this. This is boar's bristles and it won't get stuck in your hair. You can leave it in your hair to, to hold the curl and it comes in different sizes. This is for a larger, big blowout. If you have shorter hair, like say shoulder length or shorter, you might want to use a smaller one. For the bigger one, I always think of the size of a pop can and the smaller one, just so it's not too small, but it will give you some curl and you'll have lots of curl and body. There's this type of brush that has the metal inside. It works more with a curling iron. The metal heats up and it kind of curls the hair. So you would hit the cool button on your blow dryer if you always wondered what that was and cool off the hair after you, you rolled it in, then you cool it off and it would set like a roller. If you have really long hair like me and you just want big, smooth hair. I use this monster one with the metal and it really smooths it out good. It works better than a flat iron or anything else and um, you only need one because you're just smoothing it out. The boar's bristle you might want two so you can set the hair while you're working with the other. And then last but not least this is my little teasing brush. So when you want some lift in your hair, this guy you just go behind the hair and you just kind of give it a little bit of tease and you get nice full body. Now I wouldn't want that, but if it was somewhere I wanted it, then it would be good. So this is a great little teasing brush. So there are my brush tips. And like I said, if there are any other tips you're looking for, please write them in the comment section and I would be happy to address them to the best of my ability. Because remember, I'm not always right. I just know what I know and I think I know more, but you know, it's just all fun. Have a great day.